Hello everyone and welcome to this third dev vlog on our supermarket simulator game in virtual reality in VR and in today's video I'll talk about the new systems that we have in place uh, so in the first video we talked about uh, the counter system and how we can do checkout for items um, which is fully functioning and then we have the second system in the second uh, vlog where we talked about uh, the computer system how we can use uh, the computer to order products. And in today's video, we will talk about the new system that we have here in place. Uh, so we have three new systems. We have the unload area, which is the place where um, the orders will get delivered to or the products. And then the second one we have are the shelves. Uh, we have fridges and shelves. So both serve the same thing, which is placing um, you know products on them. Uh, of course, for the fridge, uh, an item has to be um, with a store type fridge to be able to store it on it. And then the shelves are the same thing. Uh, and then the third system we have is the storage shelves, which are um, places that we can store our product without showing case them. So if we ordered a lot from one product, we can put some of it on the shelves and then the other uh, we can place it in uh, the storage shelves. So yeah, in order to showcase those systems, we have to order some items. So let's do that on the computer. I'm going to jump to the computer and then let's go to the market and order different kind of items. So you can see we have the store type, uh, which is a shelf. Uh, and then we have, for example, here we have um, the store type is fridge. So yeah this is how you can indicate whether you wanna where do you want to store it um, one important note to say um, we also updated the unit count you can see um, items have different unit counts uh, and this is actually the um, the accurate one so if um, we w I will show them uh, once we have all the products in place um, so let's get some different items here let's get some carton and in the previous video i think it was not clear that the mouse is actually what's moving um the cursor because i think the recording was cutting out uh, most of that so but you can see is that the mouse is what actually moving uh, the cursor on the computer so it was difficult to see on the previous one um okay so let's get those items and then go to cart um yeah you can see all the products here you can see their cost total cost and then the remaining balance that we um get after ordering so when i place order you can see the items start spawning in uh oh my god yeah you can see them spawning and falling i think yeah so uh let's jump out uh from here and then uh, talk about those so you can see different sizes. So you can see the small size here uh, for uh, the packages. You can see the medium size and then the large size. It just depends on what is the item stored inside. We have different sizes for them. And those packages are actually also dynamically gripped, uh, as you can see. So you can grip them however you want. And then they have also physics, so they don't fall through the ground as you guys saw here. Um, yeah, so the idea here is that um, those items, you can see also the image of what's inside this item. And then you can also see a barcode. I mean, this barcode is not being used uh, right now, but um, it might be in the future where we want to do more management to see how much exactly we have from items. But yeah, it's currently just um, a texture over here. So let's uh, start with placing those items. So the idea is that you go to the shelf and then you just place this on it. And then you can see that it does the layout automatically for you. And you can also have a visual representation of how many items you have on the shelf. So for example, we have three, we have six, and then multiply it with three. So we have 18 uh, chocolate bars here. And um, yeah, so that's, that's better than having, um, like last week I was working on that, is that you just get a package and then you open it and then you start placing the items one by one. 
But the problem that I had is, let's say for example, I have 18 here uh, product. Um, so yeah, just multiply that with how many items we have, then you would have to, you know, to place more than 200 or 300 items one by one, which, you know, takes a long time to do. Uh, and also it's more tiring. Um, what I think is that in VR, you just want to give the experience uh, as fast as possible because a lot of people have difficulties playing in VR. So yeah, that's why I decided that this layout happens automatically. So let's say, for example, we have drinks here. Those has to be stored on the fridges, as we saw from the browser. If I try to do that here, it will just stay there. But um, yeah, you can see it won't be able to store here. But if you go to a fridge and just place it on one of the sides, you can see it does the placement correctly. Yeah, so that is our current basic idea for placement. Uh, it's much easier as well, uh, I would say. You know, you can focus more on more gameplay stuff than, um, you know, just placing those items here uh, one by one. Um, now, yeah, one of the problems we um, encountered while doing this is my current height uh, in the like in the in my room right now I'm seated on my chair so I'm basically this high from the ground but in the game I'm actually higher as you can see I'm this much high uh, from the ground so for those items I won't be able to grip them because they are like physically under my you know room floor uh, and I think if I moved you can see the ring and this ring is where my actual room floor is and uh, yeah, I won't be able to grip the other ones, uh, like the lower ones. So that's why I added a crouch system that you can use uh, pressing a button, you can see. And if I lean again, you can see now the ring is, it's now below my floor to ensure all the time that when someone crouches, he wanna grip anything on the ground easily. See, my hands is very easily uh, reaching to the ground. So yeah, that's um, an extra uh, system that I, put in place um, so let's crouch and then jump back um, and then you have the other system which is uh, the storage system uh, it also does that automatically for you um, you can easily get those items back uh, and forth uh, from the uh, storage uh, yeah just if you now have a lot of items you don't want to store on the shelves you can do that uh, easily so um, yeah, that's the basic idea of uh, our current placement. Uh, let's jump back in. So let's say this one has to be stored on a shelf. If I try to do that here, I have to say, yeah, nah. Forget about it. Yeah, so um, one more important uh, thing to note here is how would I know how many items I have in the store? Um, so I can use this visual representation. Let's say, for example, I have five multiplied with three, that's 15. But what if I have those items on different shelves or I have them actually here uh, on the full shelf? So in in that case, I would need more um, uh, numbers to see uh, instead of doing that. And also, what if I want to do, um, I want to change the price of this. Um, I want to, you know, get more profit from it. So that's where our inventory system comes in place. And what a better place to manage inventory than the computer. So I can jump to the computer back. And then you can see I can um, just simply close those and then open the manage app. And that's where our new system in place. As you can see, we can see um, in-store items. And those represent the items that are placed on the shelves and the fridges. And then we have in storage items, which are the items that place on the storage um, shelves. But all the other thing things are still not, um, you know, are not in the store, basically are in the load, uh, unloading area. So um, we have to place them one by one to make sure uh, you know, they are scanned or uh, that's why the barcode in there, for example, we can scan any items that we get in the store. So it shows on the screen. Uh, but yeah, so we have this inventory system, which is uh, very easy to use. Uh, we can also update prices. You can see it says the sell price and it says the average price in the store for it is for uh, 12. 
And then if you go back to the market, you would notice that uh, for that specific item with the cost is 3.5. So by default, we are making a profit. Uh, you can change that. You can um, add more profit, but that will also influence how many purchases you get uh, for this product. So let's order two from this again. I uh, wanna showcase one thing. Uh, let me jump down here. Let's get those two items. I'm gonna store this one here. And uh, we have uh, six by three, that's 18 items. So I'm just gonna place one more here. So now we have 36 and then we have 18 here. So uh, let's get back to the computer. And you can see I have 18 in the storage and I have 36 in the, um, you know, in, in the shelves and I can increase the price on it. And you can see that both are increasing. Not only um, the, you, you know, this visual representation is increasing, but also this items on the store are increasing and whatever is on the counter is also increasing the price. Um, for those items specifically, I'm not sure if you should also increase their prices. Uh, just if someone purchased, uh, you know, an item for four dollars, and then he once he's walking, we increase the price. We probably should not increase that price. It should be what's on the shelf uh, price. But yeah, basically those are the new systems. So our current game loop is as following: we order items from the computer, we receive those items on the unloading area. And then we have the chance or the option to place them on the shelves or the fridges if you want to showcase them. And then we can also store them on the storage shelves if you want to just store them for later. Or if we have a lot uh, of items, we don't want to place all on the shelves. And then um, we have the checkout system where, you know, users can get those items and then put them on the counter and then we can sell them and then they are out of the store um so yeah i think the only missing link for us right now is just for customers to pick those items and place them here uh you know to complete the the loop uh of the game but uh, yeah let me guys know what you think about those systems um especially the placement system um i asked a lot about it uh like for ideas uh to make sure it's fun but also not very tiring uh for users so yeah, that's uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And um, if you have any recommendations, any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments or jump on our Discord uh, so we can uh, you know chat about it there. Uh, yeah, thank you again, and see you in the next video.